Hey guys, Peter James here. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the walkthrough video for the Complete Pianos uh, main stage and Logic versions. So if you know me, I've been a big lover of main stage for years and years. You might have seen me on tour with my laptop um, using main stage with United or Hillsong Worship. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, by the way, I've been involved with Hillsong Worship and Hillsong United for must be like 20 years now. Um, played on something like 40 Hillsong Worship, Hillsong United albums, toured extensively with them as well, but more recently focusing on resourcing the church with products like this. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I love Mainstage, been using it on tours, still use it um, week to week at Hillsong Church. Uh, but the one thing that really frustrated me about Mainstage was the quality of their pianos. Pretty low quality until just recently they've done a great update, added some new pianos and so I wanted to create this product for anyone that was interested um, and yeah, just get the best out of these pianos. So a quick overview of this product, it isn't just presets for uh, main stage pianos and if I didn't mention it, this doesn't require any third party plugins, um, all you need to do is have the latest version of main stage uh, to use it and that's it. Um, but I've added a bunch of bonuses to this. Not only does it come with my custom EQ settings, compression settings, um, uh, comes with my Profit 5 warm pad um, as well. Let me find that one here. So uh, my go-to warm pad from this product comes with, um, comes inside this one for free. I've got custom reverbs, um, I've even got a sample, it's an impulse response of the Hillsong Studio included in here. And basically what an impulse response is, it's a way of capturing the reverb of a room. So I can put these pianos through it, um, I can put any audio actually, you don't have to just put um, pianos through it, and it makes it sound like it was recorded in the Hillsong Studio. So it just makes the piano just sound more realistic um, in a nutshell. So my favorite impulse response that works with pianos is included in this product as well. My go-to warm pad, like I just mentioned, um, and a really nice custom impulse response shimmer chorusy reverb on top of that. So I'll just do a quick overview of how it's all set up. My philosophy with pianos is I don't want to have a bunch of different pianos in my template. I just want one that can do everything. And so that's how I've set it up in this template. Um, you can go from a big, bright, compressed, um, young and free octave thing all the way down to like a really ambient, um, even all the way to a shimmer pad. You can create a shimmer pad out of this piano. This is just the default setting. Okay, so we can make the piano um, brighter or more mellow with this knob here, the piano low pass filter. We've got an EQ setting, which is only subtle for this one, but a couple of different EQ options. Um, compression, you can add more or less compression, but an on just means more compressed. Um, the octave button is going to give you an octave above. I can play a single note off. Um, just makes it easier if you want to do like an octave thing for a young and free song or um, just make your... Um, it's kind of like a cheat code, <laughs> um, just use it instead of playing octaves with your right hand, just play single notes. Um, we've got a warm pad that partners really well with the piano. Let's try that one out. And like I said, that's a sample of my um, Profit 5 analog keyboard. Um, then we've got the Hillsong Impulse Response, and this makes it sound really realistic. So let's turn it all the way up show you what it sounds like um, with a lot of that Hillsong Studio uh, room reverb on it. You can hear how authentic it sounds, it just brings the piano to life. And it's only a really short reverb, so it's not going to mush up your piano sound, it just makes it sound more authentic, puts that kind of air around the piano, um, and you've got control over how little or much you want. And this um, ambient shimmer reverb is really, really nice. And I've actually set the reverb up um, before the low pass filter. So you can turn the low pass filter all the way down 
and you'll hear basically just the reverb. So you can use it like a shimmer pad type thing. So you can get that vibe. So like I was saying, you can get everything from a big, bright, compressed piano all the way to really mellow, ambient, even ambient pad territory um, just from a single piano. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to mute this mic and start playing and just show you um, in real time kind of what you can do with it. As you can hear in that quick little audio example, you can get a wide range of tones and sounds and piano um, textures, I guess, just from a single piano sound. And I'm going to quickly go through some of these other ones. They're all up on multi-tracks if you do uh, want to go through and hear detailed um, audio examples of all of these patches. I'm just trying to do a more of a quick walkthrough overview um, video for this, showing you kind of how it all works. So... And what I'll do is I'll show you this one. Um, this is a really interesting patch because I've added uh, a resonant filter to the mod wheel, um, CC1. So you can get that kind of filtered, young and free sound uh, really easily with this patch. I like to use it with the reverb up a little bit, um, but you can use it however you want. So here we go. Okay, so let's show you a couple of these vintage upright uh, patches and show you how they sound. Again, just wanted to show you the versatility you've got with just one of these patches going from kind of a big, bright, compressed sound um, with that octave button on and then bring it all the way back to a really ambient um, thing that you could use to transition to another song or just create a nice atmosphere with um, the reverb pad combination there. I'm just going to jump down and uh, show you the Vintage Upright um, Res Filter one as well.
So there you go. It's just another way you can use these patches creatively with kind of a wah effect on your piano if you want to go there. If you do want more information on the product, like I said before, just go on the website and there's auto examples for every single one of these uh, patches. Um, and just before I leave, you may have seen this one. If you're interested in third party piano presets, it's similar to what I've just shown you, but it's designed for third party pianos. Um, that's up on Multitracks as well. And I'm going to be adding to this list. Um, this is going to be an ever growing list of pianos. So if you do end up getting the bundle, um, all the additional pianos that I add to this, you'll get for free. Um, I'll just keep adding pianos to that. So um, check that out if you want to. But anyway, that's the walkthrough video. Um, that's it from me for now. But once again, thank you so much for your support.